Good morning everybody, this is KG5IN. I wanted to show you just a couple little tricks, or not so much a trick, just a couple things uh, to help you view your uh, stations or your frequency a little bit better. Um, some people have different options or different preferences into the way they want to view it. Um, and I'm going to show you both those ways. Also, just a couple other display settings. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and power this on. Alright. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, get off this apers here real quick because it'll just keep on going. There we go. I'll switch over there. Okay. Alright. So if you notice at the top it shows the 14.3 volts. That's actually the truck running right now and that is uh, currently what the alternator is putting out to the battery. Now if I turn the truck off you'll notice it drops down to 13.98 and it keep going because <laughs> I've got the lights and everything else on in here but let me go ahead and turn the radio off one more time okay start the truck up sorry about all the beeping that should go away in a few seconds all right, so I'm gonna turn this back on right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down the display button right here. And I'm just gonna change the way it displays. For an example, you see at the top it says 14.3 volts. I'm gonna go ahead and switch that over to frequency. So I'm gonna go to number one, which is display. And you do this by holding down the display option or display setup button for a second to get to this screen. And since I'm at display, I'm going to go right there. Sub display select is what you want to change. Go there and see I've got it on volt. You can set it to go to time. So if you want to uh, see what time it is as you're traveling down. I don't need to, need to do that. I've already got something that tells me what time it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it back on to sub band. And leave it right there then you just hit the back button and back all the way out or you can key up either way and it just jumps you right out and see at the top it says digital that's the name of the station I named it digital there's another one so you see how there's two different options you can either have the name displayed in big letters right here or you can put the name there and display your frequency at a bigger you know and have a to display it bigger anyways um, so to change that what you do is you hold down the band megahertz button and it switches it over you see that so I'll do it one more time we go to another one that I've got uh, tuned in so there we go okay pretty simple right and uh, just another quick uh, tip I've already got a video on this, but I'm just going to throw it out there. It's real quick and easy. Uh, say you're in megahertz mode, or, you know, whatever, or whatever you want to call it. So you're here, and you want to go ahead and change, or, or save it to memory. What you're going to do is tune into the station, hold down the V slash M button, choose a spot where you want to save it, so let's just say I want to save it over another station that I really don't need. Okay, I've made a mistake, whatever. Um, there you go. So I'm going to put on slot number one. If you notice, slot number one already has something in there. That's incorrect anyways. So I'm going to put it there, and I'm going to go to tag. Now I'm just going to give it a label real quick. Hit the next. And if you notice, the, these correspond with these. So the X corresponds with the SQL. The forward corresponds with GM, backwards DX, so on and so forth. And uh, the A corresponds with the TX power output. I'm going to go ahead and push that button to where it gets to the number section. There we go. And I'm going to hit the next arrow. Now I'm just going to actually get it back into letter mode. There you go. Done. Okay. 
Now you hit the display setup button. Okay, but before you're done, you have to hit the display setup button one more time to save it. This is going to ask me to overwrite. I'm just going to say okay. Done. There you go. Simple as that. Um, I hope you guys can, uh, you know, find that pretty easy. If you need some help, just let me know. Send me a message. Um, also, you see where it says MA? That's memory A. Memory B. Okay, so you have two memory banks. All right. I'm going to display that. There you go. Simple as that. Okay. KG5 IN, all clear. 73, y'all have a good one.